So, you mock that one, don't yes, you? Yes, So, how mock can I tip a glass of water, which that is, upside down, without the water coming out, but taking the, taking the paper away? You oh, doubt me, don't you? Yes, I do. Ah! Uh, don't look. <laughs> turn away. Turn away. What? Look, talk amongst yourselves. Talk amongst ourselves. Tip it upside down yes. without the water coming out. Yes. There we are. Oh. How's it done? How's it done? What's it You're something to do yourself? with something that you just <laughs> pops underneath? It's something moment. to do with a little plastic disc inside it. Oh! Like most of my things. Of cheat. Like most of my things, a complete <laughs> failure. But now you know, don't you? Yes. How? Oh. Well, it's been 18 years since we last did that. So Has it it's really? How and welcome to Bunty James. Thank you. How, how? John Miller, and how Jack Hargreaves. Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's wonderful to be working alongside you again, Bunty. It's well, absolutely lovely. What are you up to? Well, um, how can I begin to tell you? <laughs> <laughs> well, what I'm doing at the moment is living in the extreme north of Scotland, and I'm a gallery owner with my husband of something called the Livester Gallery, which is a picture gallery and a craft shop, and everything we sell is made in Scotland. You couldn't get much further north than we live, uh, 14 miles south of Wick, and you only ever hear of Wick in the weather forecast. Well, a good plug, and you're making money. Yes, oh, we're all right. We're doing all right. You <laughs> always were good, wasn't she, at making money? Mm. Well, I shall ask you how many fivers I am holding. And I shall say to you that it's absolutely obvious you are holding two fivers. And I will say to you it may be absolutely obvious, but it's not true. I'm holding one fiver. I would dispute that. Well, what? One fiver. A clever bit of folding, then, is it? Yes. How do you fold it so that it looks like two? Well, on a, an English fiver, you get the duke towards you first and you fold it in half that way and crease it, and in half that way and crease it, you turn it the other way over and you make that side go to there by creasing it that way, and you do the same that way by doing that. Turn it back again to the duke, push that in in the middle, hold it by those two bits and push it together. Beautifully done. And you've got one fibre that looks like two. Do you know what, you haven't changed a bit. Well, it's a long time since that dress hit the screen. <laughs> <laughs> and nor have I either. And John Miller, your hallmark was explosives. I mean, yeah. are you still doing them? Oh, yes. Can I do No, one? you can't do them now. I mean, what, what else are you doing? Well, that mainly. Otherwise, I have retired. I'm at a colossal age, you know. You don't look it. Uh, Jack Hargreaves is the only person I know who's older than me. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's lovely. You have an explosion in a minute. <laughs> Jack, difficult question. I mean, you invented how. What's its secret? I mean, what's the philosophy? What was the idea? I couldn't see w w why entertainment couldn't be... Uh, information couldn't be entertainment. Yeah. So we tried to work out a way of mixing entertainment and uh, information together, turning them into a parlour game. We then got you together with me yeah. and, uh, and muddled along. And <laughs> <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> and, until after a few weeks, it suddenly turned into something. Yeah, really. yeah. Uh, that's all it was. Information, entertainment, and the end result was this, a programme called How. And I've got Gil here, who is going to be bitten rather than me. This is not a venomous snake, of course, but if you could put him full out and any name him at me and, there, uh, and see what happens. You can see oh, he is moving, but he's having a terrific job to get across that glass because he couldn't get a grip on it. I'm afraid he was so quick we couldn't see the movement of his um, uh, of ribs underneath. If the wood needs to move with damp and dryness, let's give it room to move. And so they invented this. You make a frame with grooved sides with plenty of room for the panel and then you drop the large piece of wood which is subject to expansion and contraction much more than the smaller ones inside like that and then you the frame is closed off at the top with another groove piece and once that's in there it can expand and contract however it likes and it can move then if you cut out some more stencils like little circles you could make a center of a different color like there are a little further down on this boot there you are the start of your start of your stencil and then you'd put in a little one like that and paint the centre a different shade. Several techniques for trying to spot German submarines and periscopes in particular sticking out above the water. One of them was the use of seals and they tried to train seals 
to hover in the vicinity of uh, um, submarines. So the moment they saw lots of seals around, they would know there were submarines there as well. The, it worked quite well, except the early batch didn't work too well because they inadvertently fed them some bad mackerel by mistake and the seals cleared off. But this was quite a serious way of doing it. They cleared off. Then they decided to use seagulls. The idea was if they could train seagulls to perch on top of the periscope like so, then when they saw the... <laughs> when they saw the... Stay on there. When they saw the seagulls perched on top of these things, they would know the submarine was there and they could blow it up. But I'm not sure what happened to the seagull at the same time. <laughs> just a sample of how but of course the one thing we never had there was an explosion John so can go on can I really yes you can you mean now it is safe though not when it? you said just now I couldn't oh, oh no that's one thing I thought I'd left behind <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna get up while the game's good ladies and gentlemen Bunty James Jack Hargreaves John Miller well, the how team no I don't want any more <laughs> And now, 